Let's talk about the West. Chris Paul, eight of nine threes the other night, and you look at what he did, and I guess as the Thunder, you say that's the type of loss we can live with, but now they really need a win. What must they do? They must be more aggressive with how they defend Chris Paul. I think you've got to put a little bit more body on him, particularly when you defend pick and roll. He got into a lot of space and rhythm at the start of the game, and obviously he shot the lights out, and he has been shooting the lights out from the three-point line throughout the playoffs. But when you get into a comfort zone as a great player at the start of the game, the night is going to be a lot easier for you. I, I think Tavo Cephalosha will be on him more in game two than he was in game one to maybe just bother him a little bit more. And, and the bigs need to hit him a little bit when he turns a corner on his pick and rolls. Make him think about something other than just rising up and shooting free jump shots. He also had 10 assists in the game, so he's just dangerous every way you look at it right now. Who's winning? Home team again. I, I got to go with the Thunder. You think that a team as good as Oklahoma City, and maybe the emotion of yesterday with Kevin Durant as well and getting that award, and they're already a close team. That might galvanize them even more. Uh, they're going to come out and play a much better game. The Clippers couldn't play much better than they did offensively in the first game. Oklahoma City knows that. If they tighten it up defensively, uh, and I think Oklahoma City will come out and shoot the basketball better than they did, get better contribution from their role players, and, and I think both series will be even at one all after tonight. That's true. If you're not motivated after listening to Kevin Durant yesterday. That was an incredibly emotional speech. You don't see guys single out teammates the way that he did. That's got to make the locker room even closer than they were before.